Hello and welcome to the Felder Group. My name is Harry and today I would like to go through the proper setup of your Hammer A3 joiner planer together with you. I would like to show you how easy and simple it is to put that machine together. So it will only take you about 20 or 30 minutes. There is a couple of key tools that you need for the standard installation. You only need a box cutter and a Torx 30 screwdriver. However, if you add some more accessories to the machine, such like a wheel set or a mortising kit, you may need some more tools, such like metric wrenches, maybe an adjustable wrench and some of these Allen wrenches. With these tools, you should have no problem at all to put this machine together. Okay, let's get started. So this is how the machine arrives at your home. It is shrink wrapped and packed on a pallet. First thing I want you to do is take the, take the box cutter, cut off the cellophane and make sure that you don't scratch anything behind it. And at the same time, you can also make sure that there has been no transportation damage. I have already done that for you and now I take off the cellophane. Okay then, the next thing I want you to do is cut off all the straps that hold the pieces to the machine and the machine to the pallet. Now here in this bag you find a couple of hardware components and uh, the most important part to your joiner planer and that's the manual. This manual contains all the information that you need for a proper and safe operation. Please read it first before you begin any work with the machine. So the next thing is get that machine off the pallet. To make that job easier for me, I use a cordless power drill with a Torx 30 insert. Okay then, let's get that thing off the pallet. I suggest you use a pallet chuck. For that we have prepared a wooden ramp and a timber beam. So please make sure that these pieces cannot move in any direction. In order to join the timber pieces together, I have used screws. And there is one more thing you need. These two bolts are support bolts that go to the chassis of the machine as you can see. Now don't forget that. You are handling heavy equipment. This machine is built to last. So I suggest no less than two people do that. Okay then, the next thing we've got to do is we adjust the bevel of our jointer fence into 90 degrees and move that jointer fence out of the way. Now we can take off the oxidation protective layer from our jointer cables. And then we cut off these straps. And that brings to daylight our bridge guard. This goes in here. And now let's open the tables. All we do is here we unlock the two levers, make sure that the fence is locked in place and uh, finally we remove another oxidation protective layer from the box. Always make sure that you don't scratch anything behind. And there is some more underneath here on the thickness. Okay, that's all you have got to do. And now after a certified electrician has plugged it on, you're up and running. And now I wish you a great enjoyment. 
Now there is a number of important and valuable accessories that are available on your Hummer A3. For instance, the rolling carriage and I would like to show you now the assembly of that rolling carriage. Now this thing comes in two separate items. It is the wheel set and the lifting bar. In both boxes there is a number of uh, hardware components that I have arranged here for you. Let me first begin with the assembly of the lifting bar. There is an axe that I insert here and uh, on each side I apply one of these nylon rollers and uh, here this ring. First I have to insert this little screw because this one is important to hold the ring on the axe, as I show you here. And here is another bolt with a washer that goes in here. And this bolt will match up with the support piece of your lifting bar. Plastic rubber hand grip. That's it. Okay, the next step is the support piece of your lifting bar that goes here onto the chassis. machine higher than 3 inches and make the timber beam about 16 inch long. Now I put that nut onto the thread, a washer onto the bolt, now this goes onto here and there is another washer and a nut behind. That's all you do, I just pump it up and pull the beam out. that it protrudes about the same set length on both ends. Now I put on the rings, the nylon wheel and uh, the second distance ring. And now I tighten it up. The same one, the same with the one behind. And you see, within a minute it's done and you're up and running. Okay, if you now want to change the position of your machine in your workshop, all you do is you just insert the lifting bar and you see this is really child's play. It's easy, even if the machine is very very heavy, no problem at all. 